Hey guys, happy Saturday. Welcome to the Killian Family Homestead. <clears throat> um, forgive my voice, I come down with the cold and cough. <clears throat> but here's what we got going on today. We're gonna do an oxalic acid treatment. Now, oxalic acid is not approved for commercial reasons in the United States, or for commercial beekeeping in the United States, but it's something they use in Canada and Europe all the time. Oxalic acid is used as a wood bleach. You gotta make sure you use pure oxalic acid. I'm using the rainbow variety. And uh, yeah, for instance, it's natural in that um, rhubarb is a plant that is very high in oxalic acid. But anyways, obviously condensed version down into a powder. And we're gonna use this in a vaporized fashion to coat the bees the, that they will then groom themselves and move it around the hive in the, in the body of the uh, bees and the oxalic acid will kill all the varroa destructor mites. The, the tool that we're going to be using today of varix or varroix, um, what I like about this one is that the bottom has a lip and it elevates the heating element off the bottom of the wooden hive body or the, the floorboard. That's very important because you don't want to start these things on fire. I haven't taken off my little measuring spoons that you see there, the clear things on the bottom. I'm going to use one gram of wood bleach or oxalic acid per full hive body, um, deep hive body. So I'm going to use two essentially for hive number two and I'm going to use one for hive number three. Okay, it's a cool day, mid-February. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not too cold. As you can see here, the bees are starting to move. They've broken the cluster without a doubt, and they are bring I'm seeing some pollen here and there. That's great. If they're bringing in pollen, that means that the queen is starting to lay. We've taken the mouse guard off, and the first thing I see is this massive beetle in there. That's not good. The hive is just, here's the entire cluster. They've overwintered really well. So you can see these outside edges. I see capped honey on them still. So they have enough honey stores, that's great. They've done a good job of being frugal over the winter. But seeing a big old beetle dead in the front, that's not good. Clean this out, get it going. So let me do a demonstration here with a tiny, tiny bit. I don't wanna stand here. So here's just a tiny bit of oxalic acid. When it's cool, while it's cool, you stick that in there. Like I, you've connected the positive already, and now what you need to do after you've got it in there and you've stuffed up the hive with your cloth, okay? I've connected the battery. Now pretend like that oxalic vaporizer, or that vaporizer is within the hive, and as that thing heats up, over the course of two minutes or so, it will, it will begin to take that oxalic acid powder and vaporize it, effectively coating the whole interior of the hive and all the bees with vapor. The bees then begin to clean themselves vigorously, and by so doing they expose a lot of the mites to the vapor, and the vapor kills them. The, the mite kill time period is about 10 days after the treatment and they will eventually fall to the bottom of the hive as the bees clean themselves. Okay, so it's been a little while. There it goes. As you can tell, I'm standing upwind from it. This thing slowly vaporizes all of the oxalic acid and it coats. See how much smoke is coming off? And that was, you know, one fourth or less, maybe one eighth of a gram. And there's quite a bit of smoke that comes off of that. So an entire gram burns off and coats the entire hive. 
in all the bees. Very effective. They use it in Europe, in Canada, and other places all of the time. America hasn't quite adopted this practice. Okay, I'm gonna set the car battery up here. I've got the entrance open. Here is the tool. Okay, here's the tool. You put the gram, in this case it's one deep, so I'm gonna put one gram of oxalic acid in that little dish. You measure out, you want it to be somewhere in the center right here. So that means I'm gonna go clear until the black handle. So they measured this perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna hook up. I'm gonna hook up. Oh, come on. I'm gonna hook up positive here. Leave the negative off for a second. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the oxalic acid. This stuff is pretty nasty, so you do not want to touch it, you do not want to breathe it in for sure. There we go. Okay, and that's going to go in my dish here. Okay, I'm going to stick this in down the center. Right there. I'm going to use this towel to close off that entrance once this starts going, okay? Now, I've got everything in place, I believe. The powder is in. Okay, I've stuffed it up. I've stuck, taken a step back so I don't accidentally breathe in the fumes. It's a cool and calm evening. Um, I've stuffed it up. The, the, vaporized, the vapor is going to stay within the hive. It's going to be about two minutes that I'm leaving it in there. Then I'm going to pull it. I'm going to disconnect the negative there, pull it out after two minutes, stuff it back up, and wait ten minutes so no vapor comes out. Okay, there's a little vapor coming out. I'm going to wait another 20 seconds. Ooh, that oxalic acid smells bad. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect it. Now. I'm going to wait a second here. Let the rest of it vaporize out. You can hear them kind of roaring in there a little bit. take this off. Okay, you see that it entirely vaporized out and out of there. Um, what's good about this is I'm not seeing a whole lot of bees trapped at the entrance, which tells me that I've chosen a time of the day where um, a lot of them are already in there for the night. Um, it's also very important to wait until the cluster has broken up after winter so that that, you know, the oxalic acid can get it, get it in around there and they start moving and clean, cleaning themselves off. So, wait 10 minutes, then pull this off and then move to the bigger hive. I'm going to do 2 grams for that one because there are 2 hive body deeps worth of um, bees in there. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, I'm going to pull this. Let's see if... Look at that, no harm, no foul. I don't know if you can tell, but these bees are cleaning themselves off quite a bit. This one I put two grams in because I have two high bodies worth of bees in here. Let's go ahead and slide it in all the way directly in the center of the hive. Grab my towel. Connect the negative, see a spark, know it's working. See the vapor coming out? 
so you know it's working.